Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today, I wanna to show you how you can automatically create an unlimited amount of web pages by using ChatGPT. Let's do it. All right, so in this video, we're gonna be running a fake tourism blog where essentially we're just writing reviews on the top cities around the world. Now, we wanna create the web pages for this blog automatically using ChatGPT. I don't wanna lift a finger. Let's hop right in. All right, so step number one is we're gonna hop into Webflow. If you've never heard of Webflow, don't worry about it. I've got a bunch of tutorials on my YouTube channel to get you up to speed. But we're going to create our CMS collection and website template inside of Webflow today. So the first thing we wanna do is we want to create a new CMS collection. And I'm just gonna call it City Blog Posts. All right, so this CMS collection is where we're going to manage the data for our web pages. All right, I'm gonna have a name field I'm gonna have a slug field, those are both default. I'm also going to add another field and I'm gonna call this a uh, city summary. All right, so that'll kind of be like a summary of each city. And then I'm gonna add another one that is called top things to do in each city. And you can come up with anything you want here, but this is just what I'm gonna do. And then I'm also gonna create an image field. It says city image, all right. I'm gonna hit create collection and I'm gonna create five sample items just so we have something to play with, okay? Now, the next thing we wanna do is we wanna build our web page template. To do that, we're gonna come down here to our city blog post template CMS collection page, all right? And this is where we can dynamically pull in all of those fields we just made in our CMS collection. So for example, I can link this heading up here to our city name, okay? I can link this city summary paragraph here to my city summary field for my CMS collection. And I can link this things to do field to our things to do field in our CMS collection. And then finally, I can do the same thing over here with our city image, all right? So we now have a basic framework for all of our web pages that can pull in dynamic content from our CMS collection. That's step number one. All right, so step number two is we're gonna come into Airtable and we're gonna build out a new table, which is where we're going to store and manage all of our written content that we're gonna to post to our live websites. So the key here is we want our columns to line up perfectly with the fields of our CMS collection that we just made. Okay, so we want a name field, we want a slug field, we want a city summary field, we want a top things to do field, and we want a city image field, all right? So you can see I've already got this set up. I have a city name, I have a slug field, I have a city summary field, I have a things to do field, and I have a city image field. Now, two things I wanna note here before we move on is this slug field I have set up as a formula. And this formula right here, I will have posted down in the description so you can copy it in. But essentially what this is doing is it's just giving me a slug. So if I have a two word city name over here, like Los Angeles, well, it'll just add a little hyphen and keep everything lowercase to make a nice slug for us that we're gonna need later. Okay, so that's one thing. And then secondly, I have added a single select field over here that I've called publish with two options, no and yes. So essentially how this workflow is going to work is I'm gonna type in a name here like New York, and then I'm going to just copy this down when I'm ready to publish it live to my site, paste it, and that's gonna set up our workflow. So that's how we're gonna do it. So get those two fields set up and then we'll be good to go. All right, now step number three is we need to begin building out our automation. Now our automation is gonna be very simple. What we wanna do, our workflow, is every time I have a city name right here and I copy this yes down to publish, I want to send that city name to GPT-3 to write me a city summary prompt, to write me a things to do prompt, and to generate a city image for me that we can then show on our website live, okay? So to do this, we need to get this city name to GPT-3. And to do that, we need to do a couple steps. Firstly, we need to set up something called an automation, all right? And that automation is essentially going to say, Whenever this publish field equals yes, we're gonna fire something called a webhook, which I will describe in a second. So let us go to automations right now. And I'm just gonna hit add trigger, win record matches conditions. And I'm gonna select the table we're working in. And I'm gonna make my condition. So when that publish field equals yes, I want to trigger my automation, okay? Now, once it's triggered, I want to run a script. Now a script is just a little bit of custom code, all right? 
and I'm gonna have this down in the description for you so you can just paste it right in. But there's this awesome guy named Connor Finlayson who figured this out and he's got this custom code on his website. And we're just gonna copy this and we're gonna paste it in right here. Now we need to do a couple things to get this set up. Firstly, we need to come into make.com and we need to set up something called a webhook. Now a webhook is essentially just going to link make.com where we're gonna set up our automation back to Airtable, okay? So I'm gonna add a module here and I'm gonna choose webhooks, custom webhook instant. I'm gonna hit add and I'm gonna give my webhook a name, my custom webhook, tourism. I'm gonna hit save and make.com is going to pop out this URL right here, which is my custom webhook, okay? So you wanna copy this and we're gonna come back to our custom script back in Airtable. I'm gonna paste that in right here, okay? So what we're doing here is every time that publish field is set to yes, we trigger this webhook and now Airtable is connected to make.com and we can pass our Airtable data to make.com so that we can feed it into GPT-3. I hope that's making sense. Now, one other thing we need to do is we need to add an input variable. And I'll explain this to you in a second. It's, it'll just be easier to show you in a second. We wanna type in Airtable ID, and then the value, we want to send our Airtable record ID right here, okay? So what we're doing is we're sending our Airtable record ID where we have our city names to make.com so that we can pull in all this data into GPT-3, all right? We're gonna hit test, run test. I'm gonna run it on Roam. Okay, so we just finished our test and you can see we have a status of 400 here and we got a bad request, so our test failed. So we need to do one thing, we need to come to make and we just need to save this automation, okay? Save the automation and then we'll come back here and we'll test it again and it should work. Okay, awesome. So now we get status 200 and we're good to go. And then the last thing we want to do is we just want to make sure that our automation is turned on. Okay, so our webhook is set up. That's step number three. Now, step number four is we need to build out the rest of our automation. Now that our trigger works, now that every time we set that publish field to yes, we are passing data into make.com via this webhook, we now can pull that Airtable data in, that city name, and pass that into GPT-3 so that it can write our prompts for us, write our content for us. So, next thing we need to do is, we're gonna add another module, we're gonna add the Airtable module, and we are going to get a record, all right? You want to link your Airtable account, okay? And we're gonna grab the base that we're using, the table that we're using, and the record ID. Now remember, in step number three, when we had to add that input variable, Back here, this Airtable record ID input variable, this is why we had to do it, because now I can grab this field right here dynamically, okay? If you don't see this here, you did something wrong on this step right here, okay? So pull in your record ID, now we're gonna hit okay. All right, so the next thing we wanna do is we just wanna run this and pass some data in, okay? So good, we've got a record, we've got some data in here. All right, so now that we're pulling data in to make, things get really fun because now we can start getting GPT-3 to write our city summaries for us, the things to do, and generate our city images, okay? So to do that, we're going to add a module and we're gonna choose open AI, create a completion. The model we're gonna use is text DaVinci 3. And the prompt, you can have whatever you want. I'm gonna do something like, write me a short summary of and then I want city name, okay? This is now being pulled in from Airtable because we set up that webhook for a new tourist, okay? I'm gonna come down to advanced settings and I'm gonna give this max tokens of 1,024. This basically just tells you how long of a response GPT-3 can give you, okay? So I know I'm gonna do somewhere around 1,000. All right, temperature 0.9 just to get a little creative and then we'll hit okay, okay? So that will write our city summary for us. I'm gonna add another one, create a completion. Same thing with a model of text of 3. And this prompt is gonna be something like, write 
me a list of the top five things to do in, and again, I'm gonna choose city name. And remember, this is gonna be dynamic. So if I have a list of 100 cities, it's gonna pull each one of those in separately and write me separate prompts for each one for a new tourist. Okay, again, advanced settings. You wanna add some tokens here so it has a little bit of uh, runway to write you something long. Add some temperature, hit okay. And then lastly, we want to create an image for our blog post. And this one, I'm just gonna do, I don't know, the city name and like art. So Rome art, New York art, London art. You can play with this and tweak as you want, but I've found that this, this works normally pretty good, okay? Choose your size, response format URL, and we're good to go. All right, all right, so let's stop quickly and test this out. So I'm gonna hit run once, I'm gonna come back to Airtable, and I'm going to go, I don't know, London, and I'm going to copy this down as yes. Again, make sure your automation is on. And if we come back to make, we can see boom, it just picked up London, it just pulled in London, and now GPT-3 is writing our prompts for us as we speak and generating content for us. And now it's making our image. So this is all looking really good. The last thing we wanna do for our automation is send it back to Airtable. So I wanna send it back to these fields here, all right? So that we can manage all of our content right here. So to do that, all we're gonna do is add one more module. We're gonna go back to Airtable and we're gonna do update a record. Okay, again, choose your base. Again, choose your table. And then we essentially just map our record ID. So record ID is going to be our record ID field that we pulled in from our webhook with that input variable. City name, we don't need to update. City summary is going to be one of our open AI GPT-3 uh, right here. So this text field right here. Just click that. Things to do is going to be this one right here. Okay. And then our city image is going to be a URL that we have right here. Just like that. Okay. So we're mapping our field. So our city summary output will go to our city summary field. Our things to do will go to things to do. And our image will go to our image field back in Airtable. And we'll hit OK. And then. We'll run it again and see if it's all working. So I'll do Lisbon and I'll again go grab this right here and paste it down. Okay, so that triggers everything. It triggers our webhook. We'll come to make. We'll watch it all flow through. All right, so everything is looking good. We'll come to Airtable and you can see here that we just have our city summary populating right here. Beautiful summary. We have a list of five things to do in Lisbon, and we have an image. Now we can work on this image, but you get the point. You can change that image prompt as you need, um, but we are pulling in custom images, all right? So that's how you set up your make.com automation to get GPT-3 to write all of our content. Let's move on to our final step now and sync our Airtable database back to our Webflow template page. Okay, so step number five is we're gonna use something called Whale Sync. Now, Whale Sync is an awesome tool that essentially lets us automatically and instantaneously sync our Airtable database to our Webflow CMS collection. It's awesome. It's a two-way sync and it creates one source of truth for all your written content. So we're gonna hit create new here on the dashboard and I'm gonna sync my Airtable app. I'm gonna go grab my API key from Airtable and then I'm going to get my base sharing link which I can get back in Airtable. If I go to share, share publicly and copy this link right here. I'll paste that in here. I'll hit authorize. I'll save my connection. And I want to sync Airtable to Webflow. So I'll authorize this. I'll log in and I'll just link the site that I'm using and authorize the app. Save connection and I'll map tables. So this is as intuitive as it gets. We just want to choose the table that we are using in Airtable this Webflow sync table, the one we've been working in. And we want to link that to our CMS collection in Webflow, which we named City Blog Posts. We'll hit Map Fields. 
And Whale Sync is awesome because it will automatically map most of your fields. So city image to city image, city summary to city summary, slug to slug. And we also want to do city name to name. And then finally, we want to do things to do to top things to do. Okay. So that all looks really good. So remember, Airtable will now sync automatically in a two way fashion with Webflow. Okay. So it's pretty awesome. We'll hit save base and then we'll turn this bad boy on just like that. Okay. So now we are live syncing from Airtable to Webflow. So let's come into Webflow now and publish our site. Okay. Because well sync won't work if we haven't published in a while. So make sure you publish in Webflow. All right. Perfect. And then we'll refresh and we should see in Webflow in our CMS collection, we should see Perfect. Rome and Lisbon. All right. We still have these five fake ones that we made earlier, but here's Rome and here's Lisbon, the one that we just tested with our city summary, our top things to do in our image. All right. So this is all working now. And now we're kind of where we want to be. We're at the pinnacle. Now I can show you how easy it really is to post unlimited content online by using GPT-3. So let's come to make. Let's turn on our automation. Make sure it's on. And then all we're going to do is we're going to paste in a list of 15 or 20 city names right here. And then I'm going to grab this. Yes. I'm just going to paste it down all the way. And then we're going to sit back and watch as the magic unfolds as we create bulk web pages using GPT three. All right. So you can see here comes all of our data. Here comes our city summaries. Here comes our things to do. Here comes our city images. All right. And as these populate now, whale sync is going to kick in and populate and send and sync all of this to Webflow to be published live on our website. So let's give it a few seconds. I'm going to come back to Webflow. I'm going to refresh. You can see right now we just have two pages, Lisbon and Rome. When I refresh, I should have 15 to 20. And here we go. Look at all these web pages with unique art, with unique city summaries and unique things to do right here inside of Webflow. Guys, I know this was a longer video than normal, but we now have incredible power. We can paste in any city name right here and then paste down this yes. And we get unlimited web pages created for us automatically. I'll leave it up to you to figure out what you want to do with this. So if you like this video, go down and smash that like button. I'd really appreciate it. If you want to see more videos like this in the future, consider subscribing. That would be awesome. If you guys have any questions on any of the things I talked about today, get down in the comments and let me know. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Thank you guys so, so much for all the support. I really appreciate it. The last few months, you guys are all awesome. I'm glad we're doing this together and I'll see you all on next week's video. Peace.